Good morning, I'm here diving with Gili Air Divers. I'm in the Gili Islands. They are just northwest off of Lombok, Indonesia. Now we are taking the boat over to Gili T and we're gonna dive a dive site called Shark Point. Now I haven't dove the waters over here yet, so I'm super excited and I'll see you in the water. We did a bit of a hot drop on this dive down to about 100 feet where we found this shipwreck. Now this shipwreck is called the Glen Nusa Wreck and there was quite a bit of current here so we only hung out with the shipwreck for a pretty short amount of time. After the shipwreck, we drifted along with the current until we came across this giant rock. Now there were a bunch of other divers here looking underneath the rock and I realized that's because there was a bunch of little sharks hanging out under this rock. They were a bit hard to see on camera as they were pretty deep under this rock that was a little bit dark. As we carried on flowing with the current, we came across many different turtles on this dive. A lot of them were pretty darn cute, just hanging out on the bottom of the sea floor or even hiding behind a giant rock or coral head. Now on the Gili Islands, the boats are relatively small. That mixed with the fact that the dive sites are so close together. In between each dive, we head back to Gili Air and hang out on the shore, have a little breather before our next dive. So we're on the boat now, heading back to Gili Air. So Gili T, Gili M, Gili Air, and Lombok. Now we have our service interval. We got off the boat for about 20 minutes and then we're gonna head back on for our next time. These boats are pretty different than the boats I'm used to diving on in the US. I'm not used to boats with outriggers, so it definitely took some getting used to to try to maneuver in between them without getting hit by the boat or the outrigger. We are descending on our second dive. We're about 40 feet down and the visibility is so clear here. It's definitely hard for me to get used to boats driving right over your heads while you're at depth. They're doing a bit of coral farming here, which is pretty cool to see. And then when we got to the natural reef, it was just absolutely beautiful, a ton of life, very luscious reef. We even saw a little frogfish. The reef got a bit deeper as we went along 
and the animals and corals got even bigger. There's quite a bit of turtles here, just like the last dive site, but on this dive site, they were a lot bigger and massive. And I think there's a lot of divers that come through here, so they're pretty used to us. So they just kind of hung out, mind their business, and didn't really mind us being around taking videos of them. These turtles were so cute. I definitely did not want to leave. I love to watch them hang out in their natural habitat, taking naps on, on top of coral sponges. Time to end our second dive and head back to Gilly Air. I'm definitely sad to be leaving because the water here is just so beautiful, but I will be back again another day. Just had two awesome dives today. That first one was on Gilly T called Shark Point and we got to see a wreck on this one, kind of drift around. The current was pretty strong, but we got to see a bunch of turtles and check out that pretty cool wreck. Now that second dive we did was on Gilly Air and it was called Hans Reef. This one was also really nice, a lot less current and a little bit shallower. We had a lot of turtles on this dive, which I absolutely loved hanging out with them. They were super chill and pretty ginormous, which is awesome. I love the boats here. They're a lot different than in the US. It was pretty cool to see and meander around, a lot of other divers out, and it was just a great day. All right, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next time.